to All Access in Zanzi. A few weeks ago, Paxton Phillies brought the country to a standstill as Proverb announced that she would be added to the list of Idols winners. At only 17, we just had to grab a few minutes with this gem and find out what made her pipes whistle so sweetly mad. Paxton! I'm sitting across the most recent Idols winner, Paxton, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, just really, really busy. You just won Idols. How has it been so far? You know, for me, this journey has been such a blessing. And it's just been amazing, because, you know, I've not only grown as an artist, but I've grown as a person. Mm -hmm. And I met such amazing people. So you left school, you entered Idols. What made you decide this is what you want to pursue? Well. My mom actually encouraged me to audition. Nice. And um, obviously, you know, I, I didn't want to because I knew that it would interfere with my schooling. Mm. So obviously, you know, we had to sit down and discuss the pros and cons with my principal as well, you know, in case I do make it fall, which I did. <laughs> so we had to, you know, really look at it from a bigger picture. Yeah. And, you know, the decision was a difficult one to make, but, you know, I, I took the risk and I think it was definitely it was a risk worth things. taking. How has the journey been? Has there been anything that was challenging for you? Because you're young yes, and it was definitely. new. You know, for me, the biggest challenge was going into top 16, um, doing the live shows, because mm. I never used to do gigs. I never used to perform on big stages and then I wouldn't be the type to go out and perform and, and dance and, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> it's just crazy because I, I used to be a cover artist. Yeah. Um, so going from 200, 300 views to millions of people watching you every Sunday, that was insane. You were in Idols. You were working with artists that are already established. Yes. Are there any people that you wanted to collaborate with? Yes, yes. I really wanted to work with something Soweto. I still do. I hope <laughs> he's watching this. <laughs> and um, I want to work with Shekana. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, I think really understand my sound and all, you know, towards mm. my sound, like Shake Honor and, and something Soweto. And I heard you just released a new song, What's It Called? And what should your fans be expecting from you when it comes to your music career? Well, um, my new single is called Demonstrate. It's nice. quite sassy, that's why I like it. And um, my fans and supporters should definitely expect an album next year. So we're recording in January, working yeah. with a few new artists, which I'm excited about. And um, I think it will probably be coming out end of Feb, early March, so they should look out for that. What advice would you give people that aspire to be like you one day? I always live by this quote that says, future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And you know, everyone can be a dreamer, but it's up to you as an individual to execute and work hard so your dream can become a reality. And everyone is saying, sky is the limit. For me, there is no limit to what you can do. You limit yourself. So if you don't limit yourself, you can do anything. Paxton, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And good luck on your achievements. Thank you. And to you, Mzanzi, thank you so much for tuning in. This was your All Access Pass to Paxton Feelies. From me, Ken Army. That's it. One.